What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to design and use highly customizable, professional and easy to use progress bars using TQDM in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so TQDM is a Python module that allows us to create easily highly customizable and professional progress bars. Now on this channel, I already have a tutorial on how to do that from scratch without importing a library, just by using core Python, defining a function, appending characters, depending on the input size and so on. Uh, this tutorial was actually quite popular, so you might want to watch that as well. It doesn't rely on any external packages. However, of course, since it's self-made, it doesn't have as many features and also it can be a bit buggy. So this is the more professional way to do it in an actual project by using TQDM. And for that, the first thing we want to do is we want to open up a command line and we want to install TQDM, pip install TQDM. Uh, and then we're going to say from TQDM import TQDM. In addition to that, we're also going to import math, we're going to import time because we want to waste some time, we want to do something so that we can see some progress. And later on, I'm also going to use joplib uh, for an example, but you don't have to use joplib, I'm just showing uh, a speed up so that we can see that the progress bar moves faster. Um, so let us get started with a very simple example, we're going to say we have a results array. And our goal is to get some results into that array, we want to uh, take the factorial off a bunch of numbers and save the result, uh, the results in the results array, or in the results list. So we're going to say here, for i in and now usually we would go range. So we would say for i in range, for example, 8000 results dot append. Um, and then math dot factorial of i, this would be the usual way. Now, in order to trigger a progress bar here, in order to get um, the the dis in order to display a TQDM progress bar, all we need to do is we need to take that and put it here inside of a TQDM function. So we say TQDM range 8000. And this will then produce a progress bar. So if I run this now, you can see already, this produces a progress bar that is running in the command line. And one thing that you see right away, if you watch the uh, custom, if you watch the self made progress bar tutorial, uh, this was not, it was not possible to display it inside of PyCharm, we had to open up CMD or the Windows terminal, this progress bar works well in PyCharm as well. Um, so we can also increase the number here to see a little bit uh, more progress or slower progress happening. So you can see it shows you the uh, amount of elements processed, the amount of elements there are in total, you can also see a time estimation and how many iterations per second we're having right now. And you can see that it gets slower and slower as it gets to the bigger numbers because we have a factorial runtime complexity, obviously, the first couple of digits, or the first couple of numbers that we want to take the factorial off are quite easy to process. So you can see immediately 15, 31, 38, 43. And the higher we get the slower it gets because of course, taking the factorial off larger numbers is way more difficult than taking the factorial off five, for example. So this is how that works. Now we can also go ahead and do this in the list comprehension. This is no problem. So we can say results equals. Uh, and then we say math dot factorial of x for x in tqdm range 8000 again. So this also works. You can see this also produces a progress bar. So this is a very simple way we don't need to do anything manually here, we just pass uh, the the range or the elements to be processed to TQDM and then we get a progress bar. Um, now let's do the same thing here with joplib. This is optional, you don't have to install uh, joplib and use joplib here. I'm just going to do it to show you that for example, we can see a speed up here. So from joplib, we're going to import parallel and delete. I have a video on this probably already on the channel. Um, and then we can say here results equals parallel n jobs equals two, and then delete uh, math dot factorial of x for x in tqdm range 8000. So we should be able to see now a slower processing and a faster processing. So this is the slower processing and this should be twice as fast. There you go, almost immediately done. So we can actually increase the numbers here to uh, actually here we should not increase them too much. Otherwise, we wait too long. But maybe let's go with 15,000 here. And let's go with 
40 okay 40 is maybe too too much 25,000 I'm not sure if this is going to take too long if I use all the cores available so this takes some time here definitely the closer we get to 100% the more time it will take uh, as we know now from the runtime complexity but you can see we can use this easily we don't have to specify a progress bar function where we specify a total and uh, a function that we call all the time we just use the normal way we would do it but we add a TQDM to it. And this is just the beginning. This is a very shallow, um, as you can see now, look how fast this is because we're using all the cores. Uh, but yeah, that's actually not about the progress bar. This is more about job lib. So let's just abort here. Um, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We can do a lot more with that library. So for example, we can also say uh, from TQDM import T range, uh, which is basically the same thing, but we don't have to specify range. So we can just say T range. 8000 this is an option that we have and now let's go ahead and do something um a little bit more complicated let's do a more sophisticated advanced uh customization here let's say we want to have uh the random module also imported and we want to now say with t range uh 1000 so we want to have 1000 iterations here st with t range st for i in t we will do something. We will set the description of this um, of this progress bar to something. We're gonna say here iteration number and then uh, i in this case, or actually i plus one because we don't want to have iteration zero. We want to start with one. Um, we're gonna set the description like that, and then we're going to choose a random sleeping time. So we're going to use time to sleep, sleeping basically only to waste time, so that we have something to wait for. Um, so we're going to say here sleeping sleeping time is going to be random dot rand int between one and a hundred divided by a hundred. So not very long. And then we're going to say uh, T set post fix. So what comes afterwards? We're going to just say now something. So here you can provide keywords. You decide what keywords you want to provide. Those are just the keyword arguments. So you can write whatever you want here. You can say something. You can name this like that as well. It will be displayed in the end uh, in the progress bar. So I'm going to call this something now and something is just going to be a random number. So we're going to say random, random, rand int between zero and 100. Just a random number. Nothing special about this. Of course, in an actual example here, when you're actually processing data, a data set or something like that, you might want to have something meaningful like showing some stats. So uh, showing some mean or standard deviation or loss or anything like that something that makes sense to show um and then we're also going to say the sleeping time that we just defined or that we just generated so that we know what it is then we're going to sleep for that sleeping time so sleep sleeping time uh and then we're going to do something random just to show you that we can also have nested progress bars so we can have progress bars uh, not inside of progress bars, but belonging to the same progress bar. So as a sub sub process here. So we can say here if I modulo 100 equals zero. So every hundred iteration, what we want to do is we want to say for placeholder in T range uh, 10. We just want to sleep half a second so that we have to do something. So nothing special here, nothing important here. Overall, this is a trivial example. But essentially, this is just a nested progress bar. So when we run this, you can see we have the description here. You can see that we have the sleeping time and the something here. This here now is the nested progress bar. Here you can see iteration number 10, 11, 12, and so on with the sleeping time and the something variable being generated here. So uh, just some random values. And then you can also see the progress all the time. Uh, and then once we reach iteration 100, we should be able to see again, a couple of those here. And uh, here you can see the overall progress. So as you can see, with very little effort, we can already build professional progress bars, we can see um, progress bars inside of progress bars, we can see overall progress, we can see our custom description that we can uh, add some information to we can add formatting, uh, we can add post fix um, variables here. So in an actual example, this could be for example, if you're training a neural network, a loss, uh, or an accuracy or some metric or something that you want to keep uh, an eye on. And here you can see now the iteration. But yeah, essentially, this is how you do that. And if you want to go to the GitHub documentation, just go to GitHub um, 
type in Google GitHub TQDM, or maybe you will find a link in the description down below. You have tons of customization options here. I'm not going to go through all of them in this video. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can format the strings. You can, you can do a bunch of things here uh, with TQDM and it's very easy to create professional progress bars. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.